Well, this right here is Hothead Joe. It was one of the first game hacks I ever made back when I first started hacking video games. I know, it's just a different angle this time. It's really just a simple hack of Mitsume Gatoru because the main character kind of looks like my buddy Joe Witter. So I made this on a cart, I gifted him one, then a few people in the Seattle area were like, oh, I want a copy, I want a copy. So I made a few more just for fun. The problem is, over the years, and again, this was seven years ago, eight years ago, something like that. My buddy Arnez sent me this copy. He's just like, it doesn't work anymore. Is there anything you can do to it? So I'm doing open cart surgery on my own game. When I open this up, I'm going to see my own terrible soldering job. <laughs> and I'm guessing what happened is one of the wires popped out or something like that. So we'll have a look at it all the same. I don't have a tech background or an engineering degree. I mean, yeah, I can make repros and stuff, but anybody can. It's like putting a puzzle together. So something like this, if I've put it together before, I can do it again. Let's pop it in and see what it looks like. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. Nice little sign there from my buddy Rock Solid Productions. You want one of yours or something similar? Check out a link in the description below. And what do we got? Yikes. All right, uh, definitely looks something. <laughs> okay, what's more is uh, Arnez and I actually participated in the um, the Greater Seattle Retro Gamers uh, gift exchange during Christmas, and I still haven't even opened his gifts. Um, he sent that along with the other stuff. So while we're here, let's see what he sent. It's a little Christmas in April as we're filming this right now. Exciting, exciting. I see a couple of Game Boy games. A man after my own heart, a couple of uh, a couple of imports. What could this, oh, we got a Super Famicom. Is this Final Fight 2, maybe? This looks like it could be a Famicom game. He knows I love Famicom. I see a green cart. Is this going to be Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom? This is what the Famicom Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom looks like, thank you. You know I love Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. Pretty light box here. Could be anything. Could be Crystal Mines 2. Oh, interesting. It is. Literally, Crystal Mines 2. Look at that. Same size, same box. Another Lynx game, perhaps. Do I have that analog pocket? I should get that Lynx adapter. Play these on it. Robo Squash. Nice. Sweet. Well, thank you for these, and um, let's get cracking. Like, it looks like it still works, just graphically not the way you want it to work. So let's open it up and see what this looks like, man. And if all of the wires are still on here, That'll be interesting, because then I won't know what to do. Board swap, maybe? But you can't just do a board swap. I'd have to re... Well, you could do a board swap, I suppose. I'd just have to rewire it and stuff like that. But I want to use this original board. I, th I don't think it's the board. <laughs> oh, blast from the past. Yeah, the, I, used the, I used the blue wires. So back when I would admittedly destroy old video games, uh, you can destroy old video games using EEPROM programmer, but Nintendo was smart enough to make it so like a, your basic EEPROM programmer wouldn't go exactly where the pins wanted to go. They had their own thing going on. And of course it took somebody probably two seconds to crack it and say, well, this thing's supposed to go over here, this thing's supposed to go over here, so let's just rewire the things as needed. Now here's, here's the back if you're curious. Again, I uh, take no responsibility for being the best at soldering, but the stuff I do works. I just go for efficiency. You look at someone like a Voltar or a Mr. Wizard if you want to see clean, precise, work and detail. Mine stuff just works. And I just, you know, you're not, you're not even looking at it. You just put a label on it and call it good. <laughs> so it actually does look kind of grungy a little bit. That one especially. All the wires are still on there, so that's good news. I could tug on them a little bit. I mean, we could just try cleaning it. The old Bright Boy, you know, the old, uh, give it a taste of the old uh, Bright Boy and the one-up card and all that. I mean, we could try a one-up card on this. If you're like, what's a one-up card? It's one of these. There's a fluid side and a dry side. You put, like, rubbing alcohol in the fluid side. You don't even have to open the cartridge. This one happens to have my face on it. These are available in my Amazon store. This is not my design. Um, this is from the one-up card people, uh, but they made some with my face on it, so that's kind of cool. I use them often enough. Okay, fluid on the fluid side. And I think that one thing, and we're just gonna try a couple of things. And if it doesn't work, I could maybe run out and find another board eventually. I mean, at this point, I'd probably just use a flash board and put it back on there. I think I still have the ROM somewhere. Oh, I know I know, I do, I know I do. But let's just try a bright boy. This is already clean it up, making it nice and shiny as it is. We'll try this, we'll just put it back in just like this. What do you say, good news for me? Oh, it's working even less, I'll take that. <laughs> Did I break it even more? That's hilarious that it works less. <laughs> so it tells me it was something more than that. Oh, I see what it is. I already see what it is. Okay, okay, okay. Analog zoom by just taking the camera and bringing it closer. Hi, how are you? Gives you a chance to see some of my wall art there. 
Princess Tomato in the Style Kingdom, Bonk's Adventure. In fact, watch for videos in the future. This bonk moves around a little bit. I'm gonna turn on my soldering iron. Here's what happened, here's what I saw. And you see that? It just took the whole thing with it. The whole thing with it. I bet I could just solder it back onto there though. And that's what I'm gonna try to do. First thing I'm gonna do is kind of put this pin over instead of under. And again, thanks to flashboards and stuff like that that I use now, even if it doesn't work, I'll just put it on a flashboard and put it back, put the cart back in there. It's no problem at all. Remember what I told you I didn't know what I was doing? <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> you should not be doing this with soldering irons and stuff. Um, you know, let me, let me put it on a base here. So I want to get this pin, which is probably why it's not working now. I would not doubt that. Let me see the other side here, just in case. Everything else looks fine as far as what this looks like. And that part still kind of bugs me. But that part shouldn't matter, because usually when the games go in there, you can see that it doesn't go all the way up. It just kind of touches this little bottom part. So that wouldn't bother me so much. But this guy right here does. I'm going to try to... This blue stuff... It's a kind of thermal... Thermal whatever to it. Come on, baby. Ooh! Then can I just... Put that right on there? There's not really enough to stick. Oh, don't put it there. So what I'm trying to do... Put that there. I don't even think it's enough to make it stick. Hot glue gun, should I try that? <laughs> yeah, because when the pin came off, yeah, it's not even sticking on there anymore. Dude. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. This will not work. Guess what, I'm gonna do it anyway. This is flex tape. Flex tape. I'm gonna flex tape this sucker right to it. Right to where it should go. Actually, hold on, let me reboot the solder and stuff first. Best I can. <laughs> this is just why why at this point? Why bother at this point? There we go. Oh, it's per if it right where I wanted it to. That's amazing. All right, if I can do that, bend this down. <laughs> Flex tape to the rescue. Is this going to work? <laughs> Let's find out. Sometimes it's just for the sake of fun, right? Come on, Arnez. Okay, so <laughs> it got it back to working in this capacity, which again is not supposed, okay, that, well, it looks worse actually. That is a little silly. And uh, yeah, see, there's there's me. Here's me, here, that's the game. <laughs> I am gonna touch up my own solder points just for fun. But again, um, I don't know what happened, other than weirdness, because yeah, everything else looks fine. All right, touched up a couple of things, put it back in there, and still not great. It can, it looks a little bit better, but at this point, seriously, it's, oh God. <laughs> at this point, seriously, I can, oh man, it's so close. So close, yet so far away. 